and Sal here from Beyond Expectations. In this video, I'll be discussing how heavy should you lift your weights in order to reshape, transform your body and get the maximum amount of benefit out of what you're currently doing. I'll read out the question and then I'll give you my answer and it goes like this. First of all, Happy New Year. This came right on time, Elle. You explained this really well and I will definitely start today. One question though, I know everybody is different, but how much weight did you start out lifting and how much do you lift now? I see you have just a dumbbells, but with everyone screaming, lift heavy, lift heavy, I feel like I don't lift enough to shape and restructure my body. I don't want to hurt myself by overdoing it, but I don't want to waste my time underdoing it either. Thank you, Angie, and Happy New Year to you also. This is a fantastic question. There is a lot of elements to this question, so I'm going to break it down for you and give you a way forward. And also, I'm going to share with you my top tips on what you should do. Should you lift heavy? Should you lift light? What's the way forward? Now, in regards to your question, I had a chat with John about it, and we both came to the conclusion there's two ways that you can do this. So in regards to lifting heavy, there's two ways you can overload the body. You can overload the body once with heavy weights, or you can overload the body with repetition. Now, from our experience uh, being in the industry for such a long time now, uh, we found that repetition tends to be the safer way to go. Because when you go heavy weights, you are not only lifting weight uh, for your muscle, but you're also engaging your ligaments and your joints. Now, if you're like me, I am almost 40 years old, I'm turning 40 this year, and my joints and my ligaments aren't what they used to be. Uh, you will find that most professional athletes, particularly in high impact sports, tend to give up when they're in their mid 30s. They don't often continue, and that's just because of their ligaments, their joints, the body can't handle the impact. You'll also find that a lot of professional athletes uh, who do uh, anabolic steroids, the reason why they do this, now quite often people think it's because it makes them strong. No, actually the reason why they do this is because the recovery time. They're able to recover from the intense workouts that they do a lot quicker. Now for me personally, when I competed, I was tested, I was drug tested, I was also polygraph tested. So drugs were not something that I do. I certainly don't do it now. And I'm sure that you probably don't do it too. So how do us regular folk do it um, and be able to recover if we are looking to overload the body? Now my suggestion to you would be is don't go for option one, which is lift heavy. There are just too many factors to consider. If you overload the body from lifting heavy, you're uh, targeting your joints, you're targeting your ligaments, you can cause injury and there's just a lot of errors that can be made and a lot of room for mistake. Our suggestion to you would be to do it with repetition. So rather than overloading the body too heavy with weight because it leaves a lot of room for error, you can really mess yourself up, go with repetition instead. So what do we mean by that? Well, say for example that you can comfortably lift um, say five pounds doing a bench press or you can comfortably do 10 pounds of uh, push-ups. That's what you want to do. Perhaps you may want to look at doing 15, but you don't want to overload the body with weight and leading to the territory where you can injure yourself, where you can destroy your cartilage, which is between the bones. Once your cartilage is gone, it's gone. You cannot grow it back or you may tear something. Uh, particularly if you're getting older, that is a place where you can lead to. So our suggestion to you is to do it with repetition. Now you don't want to do the weight so light that you can do hundreds of repetition. It needs to be at a medium point. Uh, what we've said previously, for example, if you wanted to do a push up and say for yourself, you could do on your knees or on your toes, 30 push ups. 55% of that would be 17 to keep the numbers easy. Say 50%, you'd look at 15 push-ups that you can do. And that's the sort of overload that you're looking at. You don't want to overload in the form of weight. You want to overload in the form of repetitions because you can always stop with the repetitions. If you're doing it with weights, you can quite easily injure yourself, particularly if you don't have anyone with you and the weight is too heavy. You don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to damage your cartilage, damage your ligaments or uh, remove the cartilage between your bones because then you're moving into 
unknown territory. So moving forward, our suggestion to you would be is rather than focusing on lift heavy and overloading that way, perhaps focus more on your repetitions. Do three sets of repetitions and increase the repetitions rather than increasing the weight until you are more comfortable and at a stage where perhaps you can go a little bit heavier. But again, just be very, very careful because we don't want you to injure yourself. And more importantly than anything, make sure that you're focusing on your nutrition because ultimately when you are lifting heavy, whether that be with overload or repetition, it tears the muscle fibers and with the adequate nutrition and the adequate rest timed at the right time that repairs the muscle and enables your muscles to uh, develop and therefore elevates your resting fat burning rate or your metabolism. And that's ultimately what you want to do. So whether or not you're overloading with weight or you're overloading with repetition, either way you go, our suggestion would always be repetition and you are tearing those muscle fibers which ultimately will be repaired through adequate nutrition at the right time and adequate rest and that therefore increases the amount of muscle that you have on your body and therefore elevates your resting fat burning rate. Now I hope that I've simplified that for you. Moving forward, our suggestion to you would be is to overload the body with repetition rather than weight. That way you don't injure yourself, that way you don't uh, damage any ligaments, that way you don't destroy any cartilage between the bone and you're able to do it for a long period of time. Make sure you have adequate nutrition, having whole foods in your diet so therefore you can repair the muscle tears which ultimately happen when you overload the muscle and have adequate sleep and also hydration. I really do hope this helps. Please leave your comments and questions down below. I love to answer your questions. I love to make these videos for you. John and I would love for you to head on over to elite.com and grab yourself a free copy of 7 Rules from Beyond X Expectations. It's from us to you. We hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. Thank you for visiting and we will see you in our next one. Thanks, bye.